Hi, Peter Charles here Folks Fly Fly Fishing, and today we're going to do the Little Rainbow Trout in a tube fly version. Uh, kind of an interesting little project. It's a very famous trout streamer. Works for steelhead too, and it'll work for Atlantic salmon. Uh, but it's primarily known as a trout streamer. And I think we don't pay enough attention for tube flies for trout. They'll work just as well as uh, for the larger salmonids like Atlantic salmon and steelhead. Uh, so this is what the little rainbow trout looks like in the hook version. And uh, you can see it's got a little bit of a pink underwing there. Uh, a very simple, straightforward pattern. And because it has a, a tail, I'm going to do it in uh, the fashion I showed you in a previous video where I put heat shrink over most of the tubing to be the junction tubing for the uh, fly. And uh, it enables me to put the whole thing in the vise. Just loosen that up a little bit. There we go. And the main purpose for this is when we tie the tail on the tube, and this fly has a tail, and then if you push junction tubing on, it kicks the tail up. So this way your tail lays flat, and it works fine. So let's look at materials. We're going to use some uh, Vivas uh, Black in a 6 knot. Our rib is a Uni French and an oval medium. Our tail is going to be green bucktail and also going to be part of the wing. We're going to be using white uni yarn for the body. The underwing is going to be pink bucktail. And the throat's going to be red saddle. So let's get going. I'm going to start my thread on the exposed aluminum part. I suppose I should mention that the tube is one and a half inches long and I've got, uh, it is 3 seconds inch diameter. And the heat shrink I'm using is 3 sixteenths heat shrink. So let's start by tying in the tail. And because if I don't stack it, it's going to be a little ragged at the end and there won't be much of a tail, I'm going to use my green buck tail and I'm just stacking it. I'm not using very much. I mean, it's just a hint of bucktail that I'm using. And it'll be about as long as the knurling props, about that long. And we'll just pinch loop it on top. Check the length, check the position. Yeah, it looks good. A couple more wraps. Okay, now we're gonna put in our silver rib. And now our white yarn. And if you're wondering why I'm tying him on like this, I have a video that explains why you always tie your materials on top with tube flies. If you find that stuff moving, take a moment to put everything back into position. Now we're going to start winding our yarn. Put a turn right at the back and then just come forward. Keep it in touching turns so you don't see any of the uh, under material showing through. If you get a gap, back up, come forward. Now come off the heat shrink and help build a little bit of a ramp in there because we'll need that ramp later on when we're tying in the wing. Tie off our white yarn. Now for the rib. Again, just a careful turn at the back. You don't want to move your tail. And then come forward. And this is where the ramp comes in handy. It allows me to smoothly move my uh, rib into the head of the fly without it just dropping off and skidding off.
Now because we're tying basically on a tube that's covered in heat shrink and the heat shrink is in the in the vise, it does move around a little bit, so get in the habit of holding on to it. Now move your thread to the back of the head, and we start with pink, and this is just a hint of pink. Again, for the same reasons as the green, you're not using a lot, so if you don't stack it, it doesn't really show up that well. So the stacked pink gives you, uh, uh, you know, the, the pink will travel all the way to the end of the uh, wing. So you want this about the same length as the tail. And again, a pinch loop. A couple of turns, make sure everything's on top. Just come in and trim it. As I said before, if you want to fill in that space where the uh, plastic and the metal meet, go very, very softly with your wraps to fill up that space. Don't pull hard at first, you'll break your thread. Okay, we'll bring our thread to the back of the head. Now we're going to put on the, the green, and I'm not going to stack this this time. I'm going to put a little thicker clump than the uh, pink and we're not going to stack it. What I will do though is pull out the uh, hairs that are too long, too short type of thing. So we get more or less an even uh, application for the wing. And I'm going to make this just a little bit longer than the pink. Again, pinch loop it on. Check to make sure you're seeing pink on both sides, about the same amount. Yes, we are. Okay, run that to the back. A couple of soft wraps there. And we'll trim off. And wind forward. And the last element is our... Um, throat. Now, here's the tricky bit. When you're tying on a tube and you put on a throat, there's always a risk that it will cause the fly to flip if you move it quickly. The trick is not to put in too much and to put it on fairly flat. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to use a little bit more than a quarter of an inch that I've taken off and I'm going to lay, try to get it to lay fairly flat. There we go. That's pretty good. So it, it's just a hint of the color. Uh, it, it avoids having a huge throat that will cause the fly to flip or spin. Getting those soft wraps at the back. There we go. Now all I have to do is bring your thread forward and whip finish. Okay, now for some UV glue and some top coat. Okay, there you have it. Uh, the uh, little rainbow trout, very attractive pattern. Uh, it's uh, going to, uh, you know, catch fish for you. It's, as I say, anything that eats little bait fish is going to eat this thing. And tying it in a tube is a little different way to do this pattern. Most people would tie it on a hook. So tying it on a tube is, you know, gives you some flexibility in how you want to present the fly, whether you want to use, you know, a double, a small double or a small single, however you want to do it. So there we go, the little uh, rainbow trout. And before we leave the video, I'm going to take this off the vise. to show you what that tail looks like. Okay, there's the fly, and you can see the tail, and the tail doesn't kick up. It's pushed up a little bit because it's still high up against the vise, but you can see that little bit of tail is uh, will lay flat once it's in the water and once you've got a hook in there. So that's the purpose of using that uh, bit of junction tubing that actually extends almost the full length of the body. So give that a try. Cheers.